<laughs> Coming into your basic stance. So we're going to bring alignment to our whole body. Bring your feet about hip width apart, spread out through your toes. Sweep relaxation up through your legs. Bring the hips under in neutral. Lift through your rib cage, shoulders forwards up, back and down. Slide the shoulder blades together, slide them down your back. Bring the chin back, crown of the head to the sky. Tailbone sinks deeper to the ground. Deep breath in. And as you breathe out, we're gonna stay with that fluid movement all the way through to fingertips. Take it across to the other side. We're gonna breathe life all the way through our whole body, all the way to fingertips and the tips of toes. Here we go, take it one, two, three, four. Bring it back, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, back two, three, four. And with that, you can dip your head down in center and rotate to the other side. Dip it down towards your chin to your chest and up to the sky. Warming up through all the muscles of the neck and arms. Bring it into center here. We're gonna bring a slide through our hip, one side, then the other. Slide, slide. Slide, slide, nice, yes. From here, we're gonna keep that fluidity that we had through arms. You're gonna bring it all the way down to the tip of your toe and return the leg back in. Other side, you're gonna bring this flow of energy with the breath from belly all the way down to your toes. So we're gonna step out, return. Other side, step out and return. And then we can begin to bring that into sweeping motion in the whole body. So we're stepping out one side, all the way through to the other, through center. Bring it into center here. So we had that slide of hips a moment ago. We are going to work with that slide. We're going to bring it up now into the rib cage as well. So in the rib cage, you're going to anchor through your low half. You're going to use the muscles of your calves, your pelvic floor. Yes. And a bit of the thighs as well. But you want to relax through the knees. So let's visualize just the upper section of thighs contracting and stabilizing through your low half as you move through the upper half. Well done, nice. And we can bring that fluid movement through there. Whee! So in this class, we're gonna have a look at lots of hip movements building them up in to a variety of shimmies. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be releasing for your low back, your mid back, through your waist. It's also gonna be strengthening and toning for all the muscles of core. Nice. Let's take that movement into a circle. This time we're gonna bring the hip out to the side, bring it back, all the way out to the side, bring it forward. So these movements that we're doing right now, not only are those belly dance movements themselves, but we're utilizing them right now in a gorgeous warm up, Ensuring that the muscles are really ready for what's to come. Let's take that to the other side. So one of the three main fundamentals that shape your experience in life is your physiology, the way that you use and move your body. Let's bring it round. And so with that, however your day has been up till now, you might find 
that that begins to change. However you felt, after this session, the chances are you're gonna feel lighter, more energetic, also balanced and relaxed, full of joy, reconnected to your fun. Let's take that into a figure of eight. Nice. And now that movement that we did a moment ago with the point, we're gonna do that movement, but we're gonna bring this into a slight curve. So we're really warming up through the hips, through the leg. You're making a, a sort of crescent moon shape with your foot. You could do that balancing against a chair or a wall. Let's try that on the other side. So you're gonna lift and circle round. Well done. If you've not done that before, it might be a little bit tricky to bring your balance. You can place the hands wherever you need them to help you to do that. Let's bring that down into center. Well done. So the first movement that we're going to have a little look at is one that's often underutilized in belly dance, I think. So we're going to use this twist of the waist to bring the hip directly forwards and back. So your hips are in neutral, they're tucked under. So it's not here, it's right under here. And you're gonna use the muscles of your abs, your external obliques, and a little bit of erector spiny as well. So your belly, your waist, and your back. So we can make that a little bit faster. And what's happening on the upper half whilst we do this I'll just give you a moment just to observe and feel into that yourself. What's happening on the upper half as we move through the low half? So we're creating this illusion of the upper half staying virtually static, still, stationary. But actually, if you feel into it, you'll notice that you are in fact using muscles of your upper half in order to create that illusion. We can make that a little bit faster. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Well done. Nice. Now here, as you come into this movement here, I want you to notice what your knees do. Are they still relaxed? If not, just take a little moment to breathe and return to a bend, return to that basic stance. Now here in our practice, I always am mindful to bring a really, really healthy spacing between the feet. That's gonna protect your knee joint. And if you build that into a healthy habit now, that goes with you throughout your dance um, journey, but also throughout your entire life. But this movement could be danced with the feet slightly closer and a deeper bend through the knees. Now I'm saying it could be because the healthiest way is with the basic stance that we do where our feet are about hip, hip width, but at certain points you might want to, just for a very, very short space of time, bring the feet closer together, bend through your knees more, and then as the hip comes forwards and back, notice how that feels now. Notice what it does for the aesthetic of the move. So the way that it appears on your body. Let's take the hands wide. We can just keep them in a basic frame stance for now, elevated out to the side in a lateral raise. Now here, again, really important that the hips are in neutral and you're sliding them forwards and back. So the hips are not here and coming on this weird kind of diagonal like this. You're gonna tuck right under, use your pelvic floor muscles. So you want the muscles under your body to come in like this and up and with that nice strength in there it doesn't have to be like Whoa, but just engaged through there that way you're getting all of the health benefits of this movement but also it looks really gorgeous as well let's speed that up one two three four one two three four one two three four well done one two three four one two three four one two three four two three 
three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And as we do this, you're gonna feel that really beginning to strengthen up through your abdo abdo bleh, abdominals, through the waist, and the external obliques, and through rectus spiny in at your back. Well done, and four, three, two, and one. Wow. So this was a hip twist. Building it up into, and there's lots and lots of different names attributed to different movements, but this one, let's refer to this as a Moroccan shimmy when it's up at full speed. All right, nice. Help yourself to some hydration if you would like some. And then we're gonna come back and have a look at another. Coming back in your own time, let's enjoy one of those big circles of the hip, just to really release that out. You can bring the head forwards if you want to, bend to your knees. Other way. Again. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? To release out through back. Nice. Well done. Okay, so this was utilizing the twist with the hip coming forwards and back. Now we're gonna change the plane of uh, motion. And here, rather than coming forwards and back, we're gonna come on a drop and a lift. All right, so let's take it to the most basic form that perhaps you already know, maybe you've tried this before, maybe you haven't really given such deep focus to actually the biomechanics of this movement. And if you have, this is a lovely, lovely refresher for you. So we're gonna bend through knees, tuck through the hips, lift through the rib cage, and ensuring that you're in that really healthy, positive posture throughout. Enjoy that breath. Oh. Here's when you notice that you haven't actually been breathing all day. Not really. <laughs> and it's a gorgeous opportunity to enjoy that breath. See what it does for you. See how it changes the way that you feel, the way that you use your breath. So take another one of those deep breaths in. And as you breathe out, we can begin to feel the knee bending on one side, lowering the hip down to the ground. We're going to return that back into center, keep your weight stabilized. And then through the other side, you're going to bend. Again, hips are neutral, bring it back into center here. So there, we still have this steady height going on as we had in the last one, even though this is a vertical movement we're doing now. So often what you'll find is as soon as you come into vertical movement, often people will bob up and down like this. So what I want you to do is just imagine you've got something balancing on your head there. Good. Do you know in Victorian Britain, and actually up until round about 1970, this was a practice that women did, not this, but actually balancing something on their head so that they could acquire a very elegant walk. So here, you could actually try balancing something on your head, like a cushion or something like that. But for now, let's stay just with this. keeping the height nice and steady. So what that requires is this bending and slight extension through the knees. We're not gonna fully extend through the knees for a couple of reasons. One is that if we fully extend through the knees, we might compromise the knee joint. So you always want to be doing something that's healthy. That is first and foremost. The next thing is that you can create a much bigger movement with the bend of the knees. So the bigger the bend of the knees, the bigger the movement of the hips. Another reason that we want to keep bending through the knees is aesthetically it looks much cleaner. It looks much cleaner. Do you know what I mean when I say it looks much cleaner? Perhaps you could Type that into the chat box if you know what I mean when I refer to cleaner. What's another word that you might use for that? 
Nice. Well done. Lovely. Let's try that a little bit faster, shall we? You can see the comments coming in to the comment box there. Thank you for that. So here, let's build up the tempo. Building up the tempo there. And instead of that being a smooth movement on both sides, let's now accent both the up and the down. Is that possible? Let's try it. So as your hip comes down, you want to have a full stop punctuation mark. And as the hip comes up on the other side, you want to do exactly the same thing. So you've got smooth, edgy, smooth, edgy, smooth, edgy, smooth, edgy. So you're marking out the tempo in the music. So if you have a nice strong drum beat, it's going to be boom, tack, tack, or it might be doom. Yes, well done. A bit faster. Doom, 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 doom. Or tack, 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 tack. So it's commonly understood that a doom sound would be illustrated with an earthiness, perhaps down towards the ground, whereas a tack sound would be illustrated as a lighter sound, perhaps up towards the sky. So let's now shift the focus between both doom and tack to, let's go for doom first. So we're gonna accent down, 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 down. You could bring that elevation to arms, or you could frame the hips with your arms here. I'll let you decide what works best for you right now. Well done. Doom, 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 doom. Doom, nice. Returning into your basic stance. Enjoy some good quality breath. And then we're gonna try and illustrate the tack. Now this is subtle, but I want you to see if you can feel the difference. All right, so with the tack, we're gonna change it up slightly. So we've been utilizing the muscles of the legs primarily. Now we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna use the muscles of the waist, your external obliques and a little bit of your abdominals and a tiny bit of your back as well. So we're gonna activate on one side of the body and then we're gonna activate on the other side of the body. So you're essentially pulling the hip up this time. Using those muscles, you're gonna shorten the muscles of your waist to lift the hip upwards and then you're gonna release it back down again. You're also going to utilize the muscles of legs. So there's an element of doing what we did a moment ago but just see if you can drive that movement from here, first of all. We're gonna go into this a little bit deeper in a moment. So coming in to your stance there, let's try it on the right side first. So we're gonna lift up with the tack. Let's try straight away to the other side. Ready, tack. Again, tack, two, three, four, tack, two, three, four, tack, two, three, four. Try keep your body centered. So though your weight does shift one side of the body to the other, try to keep it stabilized through center. That in itself is a challenge, I know. One, two, one, two. Often when people start out their journey in belly dance, they have seen it maybe performed on television or on the internet or on holiday and it looks incredibly easy and that's part of the beauty of it is it looks effortless and sometimes it's not until people then begin that journey that they think wow this is actually really hard lift two three four it requires lots of coordination of different sets of muscles often all at the same time it's like doing this plus doing this at the same time. Let's switch. So if you ask belly dancers to do this pat your head and rub your tummy thing, often they're quite good at it. Or certainly better than the general population, let's say. <laughs> Woo, here we go. Lift, two, three, four, lift, two, three, four, lift, two, three, four, height, nice and steady. Lift, 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 lift. Try drop, drop, two, three, four, four, three, two, lift, one, two, three, 
forward. So you're squeezing through the muscles. Drop. Here we're going to drop through the hip. Release through the waist. And then we're going to use the muscles of waist to lift, 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 tack, 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 tack. Four, three, two. Well done. Take it into a circle. Ah. Wow. We're going to take it around the other way now. Yes. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? Bring the hip out to the side, slide it out. And then the other movement that we're gonna do here is we're gonna bring the hip forwards and back. Ah. Well done. So we have this one here. Moroccan shimmy. We built this twist into Moroccan shimmy. And with the shimmy, you can accent the forwards or you can accent the back or you could do both together. And that would be the similar aspect to what we did a moment ago with doom and tack. So let's say that perhaps the furthest away from us is a doom illustration. We could then illustrate doom, doom. Doom, doom. Make sure you have a bend through your knees and your hips are in neutral. Doom, 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 doom. We could say that the foreground is so closest to your audience, if you have one, is tack. So let's have a little shot of that. So we're here and then we're going to say tack, tack, tack. Feel the difference. So really feel the muscles now in the front of your body activating more than the muscles on the back of your body. Do you feel that subtle difference? Good. Well done. Forwards, two, three, four, four, three, two, nice. And of course, we can illustrate both at the same time, which is kind of what we did at the beginning. So here, Punctuate both forwards and back. So this would be doom and tack together. Forwards and back, forwards and back, forwards and back. So this movement is more rounded. It feels more rounded. It feels like there's balance between the contraction of the muscles on the back of the body and the front of the body at the same time. So as you can imagine, there'll be certain points within a piece of music that you might want to illustrate. If you've got a really, really earthy, gorgeous, really earthy, strong rhythm, then you maybe want to illustrate that with the doom, doom, or doom, doom. If you've got something that feels nice and light and skywards and tak 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 tak, then maybe you want to come tak 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 tak. Um, so I'll let you have a little play around with that. Let's pop those movements together into something really lively. Help yourself to some hydration. So Ross has suggested that another word for that would be sharper. Fluid, elegant, defined, said Gail. Amazing, absolutely. Um, let me, I'm gonna change this track up one second. Yeah, absolutely. Those are, those are all really amazing descriptors for that. And I think it's also, it's really important to find your own, you know, just as we have our own dance vocabulary, you have your own syllabus of movements that you enjoy the most. I think it's really important that the words that we attach. So the third thing that shapes your experience in life is the words that you attach. Um, so have a play around with the words that you associate with your dance just as much as you play around with the movements themselves. And what will that do for you? It'll change your entire experience. You're gonna have a much more rounded, deeper, experiential enjoyment. All right, let's nudge this on. We're gonna borrow a little bit of this one here. We'll see how much we have time for. So this is a ballad rhythm. I'm gonna turn it up nice and loud. Not much um, cueing vocal instruction from, from me here. I want you just to feel into it. 
You can follow along, of course, or feel free to explore a little bit of improvisation within yourself. Framing. Drop, 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 drop. Lift. Good. Drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift. Grip on, 
You can do this against a wall if you'd like to. I'm going to nudge my way over here a bit. This is an advanced level stretch. <laughs> Deep breath in. And as you breathe out, we're going to release the foot down to the ground. Other side. Bring it all the way around. Lift up. Grip on. Bring your knees in together. Do you know, I was thinking the other day in uh, my gratitude practice, once upon a time, a few years ago, I had this um, invisible disability and it was something, uh, a virus, which affected my inner ear and affected my ability to balance. Take a deep breath in as we breathe out, we're going to release the foot down towards the ground. Deep breath here. And I rehabilitated my balance through various techniques that I know and it occurred to me a few days ago that not that long ago a few years back I couldn't even walk in a straight line some days I couldn't get out of bed and I danced through that entire time and I actually continued to teach throughout that entire time Coming into center and roll the shoulders back. Ah, oh. I think it just goes to show the human body is absolutely incredible. Deep breath here. As you breathe out, let's enjoy this full body shimmy. This is one of the most energizing, one of the most detoxing, one of the simplest and just oh, gorgeous releasing shimmies. Relax your shoulders, relax your arms. It's also an absolute state shifter. So if you have had a day that didn't go exactly the way you would have liked, or you just generally feel like, woo, wouldn't it be nice to feel amazing? Do some of this. Bring that gently back down into center. Place one hand on heart space, one hand on womb space. Deep breath in. And as you breathe out, in four, three, two, one. Make a power stance. Whatever comes, don't think it through. Just do it. Woo! We're gonna do that two more times. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> Let's do that once more. Woo! Get ready. Four, three, two, and one. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Take note of which power stance you really enjoyed the feel of tonight. We are finding your own unique power stance that you can go to whenever you feel the need or First thing when you're waking up in the morning, jump out of bed, go to your warrior woman or your superhero, your power stands, whatever it is for you, and you're gonna feel alive. Alive! Wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me turn this down here. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit notifications so you can be informed of when the next video goes up. If you'd like to support the creation of these videos, remember you can head along to patreon.com forward slash Little Egypt Studio where you'll find a community of other enjoyers of these videos. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.